start of a new new week. And uh, there are new things that are coming new to Lenovo, especially on the Think Type line. So today, I'll be sharing with you and going through with you what are the key changes and the uh, features of the new ThinkPad series for commercial business. So I'm Francis Sudan, the product manager of Lenovo. And uh, today, we'll be experiencing a new experience, a new visual experience, and also key features of what we are expecting for the year of 2019. So as we start, we'll talk more about first the uh, what is happening in the industry right now, and uh, what, how are IT managers uh, covering uh, key issues of our customers. So uh, this means that there are inhibitors in the performance, productivity of most of commercial customers, especially as also uh, small, medium business uh, customers. This means that uh, IT managers always think of it as there's, a, there's always going to be a one size fits all notebook or a PC, but Gone are the days that it happens now, right now. IT managers are more abreast on uh, mobility, security, at the same time robustness of the products that they deploy to each and every user or employee in the company. This means that right now with the dawn of Windows 10 coming into uh, the end of Windows 7 support, uh, more and more, more or less, uh, devices are becoming outdated. That's the reason why we have to uh, ensure that our customers have the best devices or output devices that they have to future-proof in the next three or five years what will be the best device that will fit their, uh, their jobs. Another thing is we'll talk more about limited collaboration tools. When we talk about mobility, most of our users think that when they go out of their uh, their offices, they have to collaborate with virtual teams. And this happens already with millennials. Millennials being the workforce, almost two-thirds of the workforce in a company, they, dri they drive more of uh, huddles or virtual teams outside of the business environment. So more and more collaboration tools and uh, accessories are being demanded by our uh, millennial employees. At the same time, when you go for a one-size-fits-all uh, uh, approach, the IT teams, this means that devices are not deployed according to the roles of the customers. Now, in Lenovo, what happens is we're transforming that. It's digital transformation. Everybody has to embrace it. Uh, it's, it's a big talk about uh, digital transformation since last year, and how do IT managers address that? In Lenovo, we make sure that there are three pillars that combine that uh, that, that technology. This means that in Lenovo, we have to deploy modern devices, meaning lightweight devices, uh, uh, ultra bo uh, ultrabooks, and uh, faster performance like SSD performance, eight generation CPU processors. At the same time, it has to be cross compatible with multiple platforms, especially on Windows 10 platform. Now, enhancing device output. In the past, the output of devices, uh, our, our users only rely on a particular notebook. Okay na sa akin. I can run my, my business on a notebook. But when you go for outside collaboration, we have to enhance it by putting a whole ecosystem uh, that revolves around the PC system, not only on the notebook, but also what are the devices like portable monitors expansion of power banks, you know. These are essential tools for our customers to be more productive in the outside environment. And lastly, collaboration, meaning what are what are the best uh, devices that to, to ensure that they are able to collaborate and more productive when they leave work at the same time, when they come to work, these, these users are able to uh, provide more productivity and results for the company. In the Lenovo, we always ensure that being a number one PC company, for the past two quarters, we have already regained that, uh, again, with uh, globally for being number one PC. We have delivered almost 9.5% year-on-year growth. And it's because of the, the growth of the demand of ThinkPads and the Think products that strengthens this uh, in, in the whole world. And just recently, we, we launched uh, the region set of products where we were in uh, Legion has been becoming a, a formidable brand for Lenovo to ensure that esports that we are abreast on technology uh, among the esports gamers in the world. Now, with ThinkPad, Legion, and Lenovo being our number one PC company in the world, this means that the, the ThinkPads have been built to endure, endure time. Since 1992, 
for those of you who are new to Think Fast, or if you do a research back then, 1992 is the first thing that has been created. And up until now, we are the very strong brand, that an iconic brand, that most and more and more customers have already invested into. And with uh, the, the key technologies that is happening right now in ThinkPad, you will be, your customers or our customers will be able to enjoy and be delighted with the new features of this. So this means that we are not compromising any uh, any feature on a ThinkPad because it's always the pinnacle of the performance of a commercial type of PC. And lastly, when mobility is always talked about, IT managers will always have an issue about security. And uh, two, two, probably two, two, uh, two out of three customers who are going out of uh, the business environment. This means that they're always prone to visual hacks or an iteration that is changing over time. Uh, we have now the X390, we have the T490, T490S, it's a slim version of the T490, and uh, on the e, e series, we have now expanded it with another line, which is E490S. Okay, and then the L390 remains to be the 13 inches, the mainstream mid, mid range of the ThinkPad line. So each device has its each purpose, and uh, each device has its each role in uh, a particular customer who wants it. Now, let's talk more about the X390. The X390 is your typical. 12-inch footprint because the X280 before was 12 inches. The X390 right now enjoys the same platform size, 12-inch 12, 12 platform, but on a 13.3-inch Full HD display. So this means that our customers will not sacrifice the, screen, the increase in screen size because this, can, this still fits the same 12.5 uh, form factor of the X280. What else has improved into the X390? More ports, which is Type-C ports, and uh, these Type-C ports enable our customers to enjoy compatibility with a slew of devices like mobile monitor. We have power bands that are used for uh, charging cell phones and also laptops using Type-C only. And port replicator have now, expand, have now changed into small form factors. May ito nakaliit ang port replicator that is run by Type-C. So, mobility, at the same time, a very small form factor uh, Type-C uh, port replicator, you can attach two monitors into it and expand your USB ports plus a LAN port at the same time. And it's very portable that our customers were able to uh, use this across the ThinkPad line. So what else uh, is available on the X390? When I said about mobility and security, we are now enhancing the ThinkPad line with Think Privacy Guard and Think Privacy Alert. So how does it work? So imagine if your if our customers are inside of a cafe and they're, they're ha they have sensitive information that they're working on, to business reports or probably uh, payroll systems that are running through the system. There can be visual hackers that happen that pass by at the back of the person Pwede huminto, itignan nila kung ano, na, ano yung sensitive information. With privacy guard and privacy alert, with the touch of fu function F12, what will happen is it digitizes, it bursts out the left side of the screen and the right side of the screen with almost blurred lines. So it cuts off the, the light coming from that angle. So nobody over the shoulder can see the information on the screen except the person using it. So it's like your dig digital privacy filter. So it's only available in the X390 and the P490. And if ever there's a person hovering at the back of the user, there's an alert that will come out on the screen that will tell the customer that there's someone peeking at the screen of your uh, laptop. So it automatically shuts down the, 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 the light coming from the left side and the right side. So alam mo na kung sino sumisilip. Sino na gusto tumingin na kiki Facebook sa ito, ba? So this is uh, this is something new that we have implemented in the Think Line. Now, along with that, uh, the X390 is a 13-inch model. The big brother of the X series is the T series. The T490, the major change that is happening from the T480 to the T490 is there's no longer a detachable battery. In the past, I was talking more about rapid charge technology and uh, uh, 
what you call uh, power power bridge technology. Power bridge in T480 is a rear battery that, 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 that detaches it from the, the whole system, but there's still an internal battery for the T480. That is now gone in the T490. The T490 is now using a 50 kilowatt what hour of battery that can last up to 12 hours. So that's lithium ion, lithium polymer technology and also powered by rapid charge. Rapid charge is from flat zero percent. You charge it after 80, 80 uh, after one hour you get almost 80 to 85 percent of power already. So this is available now on the X390, the T490, T490S, T490S, rapid charge technology. And the T490, the most, the, this is the most powerful uh, T series that is ever, uh, most powerful T series that is ever launched because this, on a small form factor, on a very slim bezel, uh, 22 percent uh, thinner on the T490, it can house in an NVIDIA MX250 graphics card. So no longer you need a, uh, a, a huge uh, fat supply to eliminate excess heat because this one, this one, the, X, the T490 has an MX250 NVIDIA graphics card. So this means that it's not really meant for uh, graphics uh, gaming, but more and more visual experience on users having a lot of Excel sheets, PowerPoint, visuals, creative media happening. We need to ensure that they have the latest technology of NVIDIA graphics card built into the T490. And along with the, the security feature, T490 is like similar to X-Series, we have the Thin Shutter Camera. Thin Shutter Camera is a shutter button at the top of the screen to ensure that you are covering yourself from visual hacks. Because sometimes when you have a notebook, what you is you put in a post-it or a tape para hindi tayo makita. So to because you don't know you don't you, you don't know how to turn off your camera or your microphone. Of a very, very simple solution, the thing shutter camera with the flick of a switch, you'll be able to turn off the camera and the mic. So that in case that you're in the airport or probably in a public public uh, restaurant, you'll be able to turn off your own uh, camera menu to eliminate visual hacking coming from uh, anybody that is hacking through the free Wi-Fi network. Sabi nga nila, but there's nothing. Uh, there's no such thing as free. Like Wi-Fi, pati data mo. When you go for a Wi-Fi network na free, pati data mo libre na sa mga visual at sa mga hackers. Okay. So this is uh, something that is incorporated now in most of our notebook ThinkPad line. Uh, also available on the E490S and uh, the L390. The E490, and it's built on your SSD. So those are the changes right now. Like I've said, performance is a key factor that is always demanded by our users. Uh, before, a one terabyte hard drive, regular hard drive, is very, uh, uh, it's, it's very essential to our customers. But right now, when millennials come into play, at saka yung mga performance, they want, ayaw ko na mabagal. I have a one terabyte hard drive, pero if it actually bugs me down, that uh, bugs me down because it's, uh, it's, it's a slow uh, performance rate, they demand more of SSD. The, the, the ThinkPad line that I'm uh, discussing to right now are all, already all on SSD solution, on a minimum of 512 GB SSD. So that means it gives you better performance, almost four times the performance of a one terabyte hard drive. At the same time, we are now future-proofing our customers' investment. Imagine our customers are thinking, memory, it's only memory that is uh, upgradable right now. But right now, memory is no longer the, 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 the benchmark for speed, but it's more or less SSDs and CPU processors is now the determining factor for performance. Now, uh, with uh, the T490S, the difference between the T490S and the T490, T490S is using carbon fiber material. So similar to the X390, what we have upgraded in the X390, we're now using carbon fiber material on the front cover. In the past, we're only using magnesium aluminum, but on X390, T490S, we're now using carbon fiber material to make it lighter. 
like the X390, it's only weighing at 1.26 kilograms. The X, the T490S is weighing at around 1.46 kilograms. That is lighter than a uh, one liter Coca-Cola bottle. Now the E490S is, like I've said, E490 has become the mainstream model of SMB customers, small medium business users. So this means that I want a ThinkPad, but I want to have the features of a ThinkPad T-Series, X-Series, a little premium, but I cannot afford it. So the E490, okay, that, that series line, we have now ensured that we have incorporated now an SSD solution into the E490S. So the E490S, similar to the T-Series, it may not have the carbon fiber material, but it is, uh, it is uh, uh, incorporated with eight generation CPU processors with i5 uh, and i7 configurations, eight gen, uh, and then uh, that's a tabulate refresh. At the same time, it's now using 512 SSD hard drives. Now, if our customers want to increase memory capacity, this can be upgradable up to 32 gigabyte of memory. So, we, uh, unlike the XU90, XU90 is a built-in memory. You only have a choice of 8, 16, and 32. But for the E490S, you'll be able to upgrade that with two DIMM slots available on the E490S. So, for future upgradability, memory is also available for uh, E490S. Now, with the latest one, uh, the good thing about the E490S is it has a backload design keyboard. So it can go a full 180 degree, the LCD screen, so that uh, it, it, eliminates, uh, it eliminates pressures on the LCD screen when it opens for up to 120. Because most LCD panels, after two years, what happens is it dilapidates most of the competitors. So what we did is to ensure that with the steel hinge solution, it can go 180 degrees. At the same time, it eliminates excess dust coming in through the, 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 the cringe of the E490S because the, the, the heat sink is located near, near the back, uh, back end of the, the, the unit. So with, with, uh, with that, that solution, it's uh, a new design that we have incorporated into the E490S. And lastly, the L390, to, to differentiate it from X390, 13 inches in the ThinkPad line, the L390 is the mainstream, midstream. The, the key changes that is happening on the L390, on a 13 inch from an L380 to L390, uh, it is still using a pure SSD solution, but right now we have incorporated the Intel Octane 32 gigabyte into it. So, what is the advantage of having an L390 for our customers? When uh, when we talk about Intel Octane, Intel Octane is a non-volatile memory. This means that uh, unlike standard memory, if you turn off your PC, all all, uh, all processes or applications that is buffered into the memory, once you turn it off, mawawala yan because it's volatile memory on the DDR4. On an Intel Optane, it memorizes, it adapts, it actually predicts what is the application that is commonly used by the user. So it retains into the Intel Optane. Plus the power of the 512 SSD, mabilis na processing at the same time. When you turn on your PC, it has actually, actually it only boots up to eight seconds, even less, seven seconds, because it already understands the next application of the and the customer. This is a differentiation in the market that we are the only notebook in the ThinkPad and the commercial line that is incorporating the latest Eton Glacier of Intel, which is, uh, that's the code name, which is called 512 SSD plus the 32 gigabyte Intel Optane memory. Just imagine, you now have a 32 gigabyte Intel Optane plus the 8 gigabyte of a standard memory. So that means our customers are already future proofing what they have right now. Hindi na nila kailangan mag upgrade the memory later on because it is now powered with the Teton Glacier Intel Optane memory. So this is uh, the, the, the key changes. Now, in the ThinkPad line, there, there will no longer be a 12.5 or a 12.1 inch notebook. We are now Diversi uh, diversifying our product line into 13 inches. 13 inches, 13.3 in both the, the X390 and also the L390. 
So the, the, the key differentiator between the two, X390 will be the carbon fiber material type. The L390 will be more of the Piton Glacier implementation on the Intel Octane. So that's, those are the major differences between the two. Now in terms of battery power, X390 will have longer battery power compared to the L390, which is more than at least two hours of battery extension on the X390 over the L390. So target market for E490S and L390 are small and medium business customers. Then the T-series and the X-series models are catered towards corporate customers, which are usually global customers and enterprise level customers. Now, we implement a lot of Type-C USB ports on most of our notebooks. Because when we talk about mobility, kami sa office, I cannot work along with my single monitor on my desktop. Yung notebook ko, it's a 14 inch. Even if it's a 14 inch, I need to have a secondary screen. In Lenovo, when you go out, I cannot bring out my 23 inch na monitor. This means that with the latest, the latest M14 mobile monitor, I'll be able to bring a mobile monitor with me and work along with the secondary monitor when I'm outside. So is this compatible with only ThinkPads? Not necessarily. It's compatible with ThinkPads, and as long as your device has a Type-C port, you'll be able to run any application or presentation onto the uh, ThinkVision M14 monitor. This is running on Full HD solution, and in fact, I've tried it on my cell phone, just to share with you. And this one is powered by my cell phone. No external power, but the power is coming from my cell phone. So, target market for this, this type of usage are customers, especially in sales, when they're doing their virtual meetings outside. They can carry with them the mobile monitor. Imagine a salesperson having a tablet, in a present sa limang tao, diba? Mahirap na pinapakita niya yung tablet niya. Now, if he comes along, or probably a notebook, he, bring, he, bring, he brings along a notebook and presents to a group of panel people, then he can use, or she can use, the mobile monitor to present as a secondary screen to our customers or to his clients. So this is uh, running on uh, 14, in this is 14 inches, full HD resolution, and uh, the response time is from the time that it, uh, it uh, hooks up to the device, it's the response time is at least six milliseconds and it's already up in action. Contrast ratio is 700 to one, but of course it's lower than compared to a standard monitor on the desktop, but it's more than enough for you rather than carrying a projector. So this is what we are talking about on collaboration and also bringing in an ecosystem outside of the business environment. It's becoming more portable. Imagine, you bring along with you a power bank, Type-C power bank. You bring with you outside a portable uh, Type-C travel hub and a portable monitor, then you're on the go. Hindi mo na kailangan bumalik na opisina to work on productivity, okay? So these are devices that we are uh, incorporating into the whole ecosystem of the ThinkPad line. And we are be, we'll be expanding this as we go along into the uh, series of ThinkPads. And lastly, the, the latest one is akala natin but, uh, that monitors find them to PCs, desktop PCs. Kaya naman ang thinking ng tao, uh, when they buy a PC, it has to attach to a monitor. But right now, there's in Philippines, there's always a, a boom of requirement of monitors, not only for desktop PCs, but also for because uh, a lot of uh, a lot of our users are expanding to multiple monitors. Uh, let's take for example security systems. They need at least six monitors. Financial services they have they need at least uh, a three to six monitors to to visualize yung mga analysis. Gaming companies, especially online gaming companies, they have to have analysis and everything. Now that means that it is uh, that the monitors are no longer one is to one ang solution. It can be one into one notebook, one into one desktop, or one into six monitors. So multiple usage. Now with Lenovo, hindi kami, we don't stop on just selling 
our products in terms of PCs, but we're expanding our Think Vision line. Like the M14 monitors for mobile users, and we're now expanding to the S24e. What's latest about the S24e is borderless solution, a 23.8, that we've seen a demand, a growth in demand in the Philippines that 23.8 is becoming a, uh, a demand coming from the gaming community at the same time for the commercial business community. Because of a better landscape, you get a full HD, full HD screen on a 1920 by 1080 uh, VA monitor. And this one is cross-compatible with VGA and HDMI. In the past, the problem with mga monitors is it only has DVI. Sometimes iba display port. Not all PCs have display port. Not all PCs have DVI. So what we've done is we put in a borderless monitor, 23.8, at the price point of a 19.5. Ganun na ang price point ng 23.8. So we're expanding the S Series 9, which is uh, the latest one, the S24e-10, for our customers, not only for uh, for uh, desktop users, but also for mobility users, and uh, especially in the office, right? Me, uh, for me, I'm using a 23.8 screen in the office as a visual experience to expand my desktop space in Lenovo. So with that, uh, these are the new products that we are launching this today for uh, for our market for SMB customers, small office, home office customers, the same time enterprise customers who enjoy the quality of the ThinkPad and the robustness of the product. We have enhanced it with brace of security and we want them to be delighted with almost every iteration of new ThinkPad coming along the way of the year 2019. And uh, uh, this morning, I'm opening the 